All right, we should be recording now. Hello, everyone. Today is Wednesday, the 12th of June, and that's official Harbor Community Meeting. As such, we're under the CNCF Code of Conduct. Um, if you haven't read it, you can do that. But practically, it boils down to just be nice and respectful to each other, even if you disagree with them. Uh, with that said, I'm going to send into the chat uh, our community meeting notes, links. It would be super cool if you add yourself there, uh, your affiliation, your topics, you name it. With that, I'm sorry if I'm making some faces, but the sun, you just straight my eyes. So it's, uh, yeah, I can rarely see sometimes. All righty. Uh, I think we don't have much to today. Uh, question from my side to Jan and Jolene. Uh, anybody came with feedback about the new release? Any issues? Do we do we have something? Because I'm not sure if I, I found something, but I was not following up super much, so. Amal, do you want to say something? You're a bit, so I suppose you you want to share something? Yeah. Yeah, Wadim asked me to like uh, share the uh, the CLI itself, right? Uh, the mm -hmm. hardware CLI. So, um, yeah. So should I uh, do the honors by showing the uh, how the hardware CLI looks, right? I was a mentee uh, past mm -hmm. uh, this spring is itself. So, uh, just wanna share the progress or how does the CLI look itself or the hardware? Sure thing. Go ahead and, and, and share that. Uh, huh. Once again, um, if someone wants to add something, hi Vadim, uh, if someone wants to, no. to add something to the agenda for today, uh, you can go ahead and open link. So, Aman, go ahead. Uh, the floor is yours. Hey, Vadim. Um, Windows. So hi everyone. So uh, uh, I have worked uh, last couple of months. I have worked on the hardware CLI itself. So uh, earlier the CLI was not in a good uh, like uh, in a good phase. Uh, means it wasn't being uh, utilized to its fullest potential. So uh, I hoped onto the project and I, I started working on like creating some uh, creating commands, uh, CLI commands by which you can like. Uh, like manage your uh, entire thing uh, through just through the CLA itself, uh, like you do for the uh, like you do for the harbor itself, the website one. Uh, you can do the similar things here as well. So uh, one of the thing is like uh, if you are a new, uh, if you have recently installed the harbor CLA, you can just log in into your uh, server. You can just mention it like HTTPS. Uh, uh, demo dot go harbor dot io. You can head over to your usernames, right? And it it will save your credentials within the credential store that we have created. And uh, you may uh, pull out the details of those credentials later as well. And I since I have already logged in, so I, I can show you how you can create a project itself. So um, I can be like, hey, the project name is like. Um, Wadim itself, and I want it to be public. Uh, I said leave it uh, uh, private itself. Uh, I don't know the storage limit. Uh, I do want it to create a proxy cache. Uh, so if if yes, you can head over to a particular registry you wanted to choose for. Uh, uh, so if I go with this one, uh, you can like uh, go and create the project itself. I don't know why it does failed maybe due to some uh, inbound errors on my PC itself, but it do work actually. Uh, you can also uh, see the list of the projects itself, uh, uh, like uh, like it's visible here uh, for the project itself. Uh, more, you can also delete projects. So these are the basic crowd of operation that you can do here uh, uh, in, in this particular thing. Uh, other is okay. There's also something called logs. So, 
if I want to see the logs of a particular project. So suppose it's like Am Amit repo. So I can see that we have, uh, let me pull up the full screen itself. Uh, so you can see uh, there was a resource type of project and the operation was create and timestamp. And uh, what else? Uh, there's something called artifact itself. Uh, you can be like artifact. Uh, uh, yeah, you can create an artifact. No, you can't create an artifact, but you can get the list of artifacts. So uh, let me see for Amit repo. The, it doesn't have any repository, but uh, let me just project list it. We can go for chippy chip. Okay. Chippy chips. Yeah, so you see, you can select a particular repository as well, and you will get your artifacts. Right now, it's not being displayed that way because there is a PR up uh, uh, for uh, for displaying it in a tabular form. Uh, what else? Okay. You can also create labels uh, like Arbor label, or you can be yeah, okay. You can create a registry itself as well. So there is a command for that is called registry create. Uh, it can be like the name of the registry, description, URL. URL can be demo dot go harbor dot io access keys if you have one so it does create a, a registry and you can see it by a registry list and yeah you see we created a vadim registry right now it's provided is harbor and uh, you can update as well you can view as well same go for repositories users as well you can also manage users so harbor user list uh, you can be like hey these are the users right now if you wanted to elevate someone role to admin you can also do that uh, there are a couple of prs uh, in the harbor repo itself where people have created a uh, like a confirmation model before elevating the before elevating the user to user role to admin and uh, yeah there's tons of other thing as well you can pass in your custom config here if you have one uh, if you have multiple configs uh, what else replication it's there's a pr up uh, what else the main thing was artifacts labels projects and registries and repositories this all are like uh, covered here right now so there is a a repository command as well where you can uh, just with repo list you can see the list of uh, repositories associated with a particular uh, project itself so yeah see you can see it have five artifacts and 42 pool last modified was this yeah what else okay you can also scan as well so uh, it's like artifact Start scan, scan start. Okay, okay. You can so this entire uh, the selection that you see, this is powered by like a cha message. The, it's a very beautiful library that uh, help us this with this kind of interaction within the terminal itself. Uh, it's uh, not new, but yeah, it has been in the market for a while. And you can choose the artifacts as well. You can do with both way interactive way as well and uh, the other way where way you where you just pass uh, directly from the cli itself you can do both way uh, this way if you are um, integrating this uh, cli somewhere else where this interactions can't be possible but you can do the, exactly the same thing with the cli like typing in the cli as well so we can see the scan started and successfully and you can also stop it list it and delete the artifact as well yeah that's basically about uh, basically about <coughs> the harbor cli
uh, the presentation right now uh, and uh, we can just create a first our first release as well if you are on windows you can uh, like get this cli tool by just doing winjet install harbor so you may have that on your uh, windows as well so and if you are on linux user you can just head over to uh, basically you can just call and you can install the particular binaries onto your specific path yeah and we can head over to like if uh, we can merge few prs uh, which we have like why we have like 43 prs 45 prs on the harbor cli project right now if you merge a few we can just <coughs> Yeah, we can go with the creating a, a, a V 2.0 release. Uh, so it is accessible to everyone using it, right? Or Lin, anyone can use it. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aman, for the presentation. Um, <coughs> I would like to add one or two things to the um, to the harbor sea line. So Aman was the, the, the mentee from the term one, and we have already now the mentee uh, for the term two uh, selected yesterday. And uh, this is going to be Bishal. Bishal is going to be the mentee for the term two sea line. He's already active with harbor sea line, and he, he, he tried to um, join last uh, season, and it didn't work out for him. But he, he continued contributing to Harbor improvement, and so I think it's uh, fair to uh, uh, yeah to onboard him for this mentorship program for this uh, term. Um, and so there's currently well the first uh, little release is already out, and there's some binaries. And the, the next goal is to release it to you know to this distribution platforms like Homebrew and uh, chocolately and, and other platforms and also to uh, for linux packages so that users can easily and quickly uh, download and onboard uh, harbor cli and the the other part is that is that we need to figure out a bit more is the the user flow so because there are currently a few things that are not yet um, perfectly fine there specifically when it comes to use cases and, and how people are interacting with Harbor normally and what, what the, they're trying to do with the Harbor. So this is not yet um, perfectly done in the CLI. And we are kind of uh, working on that now for the, the, the first you know, release. Uh, and what Aman didn't show you, he was mostly referring to the CLI on the, um, with the, uh, TUI, so this is this uh, wizard interface, right? But you can also use the, the CLI as a classical CLI with arguments so that you can use the same CLI in combination with um, um, in combination with uh, CI CD pipelines, right? So you can you know do things also uh, in a non-interactive way, right? Uh, it's just here for the demo, it was more convenient to do it in the interactive way, but you can do uh, the same thing in a non-interactive non -interactive way. And you can also ha have the outputs in uh, in other formats than to uh, tabular, right? You can have a YAML output, you can have a JSON output so that you can pipe in this the output of the Harbor CLI into your other workflows and um, do things with that. Um, so we are on track with the Harbor CLI and I'm happy that we made some progress. There is still some road ahead, but I'm looking forward to have something working. And the next stop is going to be um, generating the S-bombs for, the, um, for uh, the Harbor CLI. This is what Bishal is, is working on currently and generating S-bombs, attaching the S-bombs to, uh, to the images and uploading the S-bombs and the images to Harbor so that we can also use Harbor CLI in a container. So, right, so you can you can use it in in GitHub action and things like this. So this is currently the work in progress and I hope we can, by the end of the term, we have a, a release that is actually uh, usable and has a nice workflows and a bit more stable API. Yeah, thank you very much, Aman, for your work and Aman, told that he's going to stick around with the Harbor project and also 
uh, we have uh, I think like 50, almost 50 or 40 uh, PRs open uh, from the community already, and uh, yeah, we need to work on that and and review them and adapt them and uh, merge them. And yeah, this is the the current work of Aman and myself uh, to get this into uh, Harbor. I is thank it? you for Adam for your yeah. Thanks for the excellent work. So I have a question regarding this for, um, so will we uh, release a line with the Harbor Core? If you, uh, I'm asking because that uh, currently we do have a two point eight hour one. So um, I don't know what whether the current zero zero point one supports which version Harbor which Harbor version. It supports the version two of Harbor. Well, okay. version two, okay. so, I'm not sure it's the latest yeah, yeah. version that we have. It's it's it is more bound to the Go to the Go client, you know, than to to the hardware instance. Mm -hmm. um, so it's mm -hmm. using the Go client, and uh, it depending a bit on the Go client. What what Go client we have? Okay, okay, got it. Thank you. And yeah, once we have the the kind of the first stable release, then we will pinpoint it to the to the proper hardware version, and then move 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 along with the hardware. So the idea is to release that all together with Harbor in the future, like uh, new no, Harbor not release, new CLI version release, or um, well, the the I think well, no, we 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 need to keep things a bit simple here, right? Um, we will keep releasing Harbor CLI, and then Harbor CLI will point to some up to date Harbor version, right? So we were not not gonna have CLIs for each Harbor version and backward compatible. We'll just move along. So if you have old Harbor version, you can old use the old CLI, and if you need a, a newer version, you can use the newer uh, CLI. So uh, it's it's not gonna be that complicated, right? So it's, just keep it simple. Follow the the main line, and um, yeah. Because otherwise, it's you know we'll just spend too much time just on figuring out how to do this, this multi releases and things like this before shipping anything. So that's I'm you know trying to first ship something and then we can figure out if it's uh, if it's useful that we can have uh, support for other versions and things like this. Uh -huh. And the CLI, I mean the API uh -huh. is quite stable anyway, right? So the, the 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 so there is no big expectation of a breaking change. Significantly. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. And yeah, next addition to the LFX program next week, they're gonna be um, Roald. He's gonna present then his work on uh, the Harbor satellite. So then we can schedule that one. Great. Um, I had something to ask you about the LFX program, but it just popped off my mind now. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, anyone else? Any anything else to show? We had had one topic in our agenda for today that I added. Um, that the Pulumi provider for Harbor, um, but the Engin, I, I cannot see Engin on the so how we want to approach that should we because it's for here, should we open an issue for this question in GitHub? Yeah, I think we need to know what what, what is this plugin. What are the? Uh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah. I mean, I mean, my opinion on this is we should we should ask the uh ask them to do a uh presentation here to understand what what is this provided uh for humble and uh. Mm -hmm. uh before we discuss this, we think that's something we need to know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's just the reason why I uh, started that conversation in the 
mailing list just in case someone wants to get it. But uh, yeah, uh, I've invited Dengen to to show us that to discuss what's the future of this one, how he and Pulumi sees that. Uh, but yeah. By the way, someone is having someone on, on the door. So oh. <laughs> if you need to pick up this one, go ahead, Valim. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, as Vali, uh, as uh, Engin, as Engin is not around, I think we cannot do much about that. Uh, so what else? Uh, I've seen someone, I suppose, Jolene, that's you. If yeah, I had some I had the one for update. Hong Kong and for the yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, do you, uh, do we, you want to take it? Yeah, for KubeCon yes. Hong Kong this year, uh, in August, uh, we have submitted the maintainer track session and uh, a few self -piece. Uh Finally, we got the maintainer track session and one CFP accepted. So we are planning. Uh, uh, I mean, work work with the company to plan the uh, budget to to for this event. Uh, we uh, maybe later we can get some uh, clear update about who will attend this event. So at that time, uh, we will update again uh, on this uh, session uh, who who will attend uh, this event and the present for Harbor in Kukan, Hong Kong. Anyway, this is good, good. This is good news for us. <laughs> we we have the session uh, there. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is for the KubeCon event update. Uh, for the patch release, I think this was added by anyone else, right? With the two nine four yeah two nine four and two ten three yeah. Uh, yeah I can I can I can answer that. Uh, actually, the team is planning these two patch uh, currently because previously we are working on the major release uh, 2011. Uh, we now will focus on these two patch release in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, probably we will release this by next month. I think uh, we need to figure out some other things uh, and uh, allocate resource uh, focus on the two patch. Okay. Can we not get it earlier? Because there's currently the problem that uh, the, the the release two nine three is not really usable, right? Because there's this 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 bug that prevents it from uh, from being usable. You and you mean the uh the issue uh, around the performance, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the scanner. Yeah. Yeah, we we actually uh discussed that. Uh, we need to fix this. Uh, in the next patch release, I know. Uh, we fixed about... it already. Yeah, it's we already... fixed it already, but we need to uh, plan the patch release uh, in reasonable schedule based on our resource allocation. Right? Okay. Uh, can I can I help with the release? I mean, we we just need to have this one patch release uh, for two nine and two ten. So can we not just release these functionalities? And not wait for, and then if we have others and the end of the month, we can do the other. So, can I help you with the? Yeah, I think of... I think we we also need to evaluate the fix again, uh, probably in some more details about uh, uh, the last fix we checked in. Right, uh, we have we need to run in some performance testing and compile the performance result uh, with previous, for example, two thousand ten release. To know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. release, to know to understand, uh, the fix is working, right? Yeah. So I think we have someone from some... the community who is also working on that, right? So I think Florian and Thomas, uh, are you guys? Uh, I asked you to to do some performance testing with the fix. Um, maybe you yes. can help here as well. Ah uh, yes, I will probably so... start uh, this week to to check uh, the difference uh, before and after the fix. I will yeah, but you know. that yeah, and 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 I know in that issue, there's some some contributor from community uh paste some performance testing result in the issue, but that is only one single performance testing for that particularly uh function, right? Actually, Harbor project, our Harbor project actually have a 
uh, performs testing, uh, test shoot uh, for each of the marriages. Uh, if you look into the, there is, I think there is a performance uh, result published in the wiki or somewhere for recently uh, several yeah. marriages. Yeah. So we, we yeah, need they're... to... Yeah, we need to do, I mean, we need to do a overall performance testing against the Hubble, not only focus on this particular issue itself. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this, like, um, this is what I think, like, Thorion so, so, uh, is, is going to chain to test, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like a multiple tests, right? So one is the the fix that we applied, this is the fix that we applied. So he's going to 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 test the fix on his database on on his data set, right? And where the problem occurred in the past, because the the point is that um, you know like the performance test that we're doing in HarborSight was not able to cover this use case, right? And I'm not sure if we extended the performance test to cover this use case or not. So yeah, I think I we have some performance testing through the API level, right? For example, this. Uh, this testing when you do some uh, action operations through the API to list the artifact mm -hmm. that will uh, trigger this uh, particular circle execution uh, yeah. on this table. So, but how come we didn't detect? Mm -hmm. um, how come we didn't detect the performance problem in uh, before? This is, was, I think it's, this is introduced in one of the patch release. For patch release, usually we do not we we did not do a all war test. Oh, okay. Test. Yeah. Okay, I guess. See, yeah. So and yeah. So the, there's like a multiple test, right? So it's the kind of a well. This is we have results for this one, right? So it's the switching data type, and then the other one was to test the the fix, right? So that the fix that we have applied the, the fix and see the performance for that, and the other test was apply the fix and then change the data type. And to see if this is a, provides any performance improvement, and this is what I think Florian wants to test this week with the real mm -hmm. data sets, and then we yes. will have, uh, then we will know, like, we know the old the old results, we know the new result, and then we know the re new result and change data sets. So we have yeah here the, here this fix is changes the table schema. Yeah, but these, we have this. Um, this is. This is also a test, right? So this is like first test. We have this already. Second test, third test. So we have like uh, four, uh, three different tests where we test the performance, and then we have a, a exact information about how does the performance change from one step to another. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, anyway, I so think it, uh, let me. Uh, sorry, sorry for interrupt. Uh, let me explain something. So the the first uh, the the facts that were provided just the. Uh, you can see the fix as a revert. We just revert to the previous uh, implementation because that we didn't notice any performance problem before the the bug introduced. So we lost. So that's why we're trying to re that's why we try to revert to the previous um, implementation. So so we assume that the performance should be the same as the yeah yeah the bug uh, uh, before the bug introduced. So. So, um, but uh, as for uh, the uh, option two that uh, provided by the uh, 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 Vadim, that he wants to um, change the state based schema as well, uh, plus the, the, the fix. So, mm -hmm. I think we could do it in a 2012 and then we can do some testing. But but currently, we want to do some validation to, mm -hmm. uh, to validate whether the rewards works or not. So currently we are working on that. And uh, because that we do have some problem on our performance pro framework, and currently we are, we are fixing the uh, the framework and we are trying to run the performance on, on different kind of a patch like uh, 2.10, 2.11, and the main branch, we want to compare the results between these two, these three results to, to what I did, the, whether the performance on, uh, problem has been fixed. So and then we could uh, provide the results based on our uh, testing, and uh, yeah, the 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 status is that we are trying to uh, um, running the the performance and the, the compared results. Yeah. So uh, as as the the option two that provided by uh Valim, uh, we could do some 
a further investigation and testing in 2012, but I don't think we should do it something. We do something in the 2011. So um, yeah, that's my point. Yeah, makes, I mean, makes sense. We should not make this big change then for, uh, for the bug fix release, but uh, yeah. But for uh, feature release, um, I was more, more, more worried that, you know, about the fact that we have, um, uh, you know, now a situation where in 2.9.3 and 2.10.2, we have uh, you know, two releases out in the wild that are you know, not performing well. And, um, and maybe we can just, you know, deploy the reverted fix. The one that we already implemented. So as, as, uh, yeah, as for uh, as for this two uh, patches, um, besides the uh, performance problem, we do have a CVE that um, so we should uh, resolve the CVE problem and uh, finish the the process, and I mean mm -hmm. the embargo process. So then that's why we postpone the these two patches. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. I think if a team, you should you, you should know that right. You are yeah, also yeah. in that loop. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think we can discuss this separate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Then we have uh, this part. Uh, yeah. What else topics do we have? Nothing else, I think. Um, oh yeah, there's a one proposal um, from I, I yesterday I revised one of the proposals. Maybe you can share this one. Um, it's uh, you want to share? It's, yeah, I sharing. Wait a second. This is a proposal that we had already in the past a few times, and it's uh, um, and I'm trying to get this now into a different shape. So this is a proposal of multiple visibility levels, and I've refined this a bit. And it's you know, uh, it consists now of um, uh, multiple multiple inputs from different people um, how this should look like. So the the proposal is having multiple visibility levels uh, for projects in Harbor and control of those levels. So the the basic thing is like we have currently projects that are public or private, and each project creator can decide if the project should be private or public, right? And with this uh, multiple visibility levels in control, you will be able to have multiple visibility levels. So you can have a private and intern and uh, um, a, a private, intern and public repository. And then the system administrator can also define what should be the maximum allowed level of uh, of uh, the project? So the system administrator can say, like, in my registry, I just want to have private registries, uh, private projects, and then the, when you create a project, you cannot select a public one, right? So the the system administrator can define the maximum level, and it's called uh, yeah on the system level. The system admin can set the maximum visibility level for new projects, right? So you, you on, the, on the project on system wide you can set like maximum visibility level is intern and then uh, only private and intern projects can be created but not public ones and so there's going to be um the proposal is consists of actually more than three levels of four levels right so and i'm explaining a bit why four levels so private level is clear that's the same that we have currently then there is the uh, level that's called internal view only and this level is basically allows everyone within the organization to view the API, right? So to view the, 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 the data, but not pull the images. This makes, um, we can debate if this makes sense, but I think it makes sense to a certain extent because on large organizations, you want to have people, the ability to view what is there, but you don't want them to grant the, the permissions to actually do this until they get, uh, you know, they can request the permission to, to view this, but they need to to have a way to view things to know if there is something that they need. So this will be then fulfilled by this internal view only. The same goes for the internal. Internal means that uh, if it's marked as internal, from the you can pull these images without identification from the intranet, but not from the internet. 
that's why internal and then public view only is the same thing so you can publicly view data but you cannot pull images until you have access and then the public is the same that we have currently right and this is for example for reference the project labels in gitlab so and uh, and then we have two project level uh, projects project level visibility so here project admin when he creates a uh, project he can decide which level they are if there is no restriction he can select one of the four the system level we have uh, we, the system administrator can def define the maximum level and then oh, unfortunately my uh, it's cropped here I don't know why uh, because there is some discussions going on uh, why is it cropped Oh, sorry. Somehow this, I, I need to push this information because it's cropped. There is uh, some more detail about the rational um, and, and, and other details. So let me just quickly take it to main. Oh, sorry, I cannot, uh, I'm not sure why it's uh, not visible everything here. Um, let me quickly switch to the branch. Uh, maybe you can see it in the branch here. Um, yeah, so here's the this description about uh, the rational. Um, and the main reason is why we, why it makes sense to have this is the fact how people are using Harbor in in enterprises and they use Harbor a lot with you know replication and proxy so if you have for example a proxy project you want to make the proxy project accessible for everyone inside your internal organization and this would be the, the, the main use case why you want to have internal pro internal proxy right so that if you proxy docker hub you want to make it internal accessible and uh, this will allow you then to um, you know to uh, to to view this, this in uh, to view and pull this uh, the images from the proxy without you know granting permissions and things like this and and setting a pull request, um, and then there's also some uh, details about the implementation and how can this be, can be implemented imp implemented and what does this like how we can detect if it's an internal project or not right so um, yeah we can discuss this a bit more detail and if you can try to read this and then we can yeah see how we can adopt the RFP for, uh, for the requirement. And I've also compiled a list of, uh, let's say, um, let's say that, some similar topics and issues that have been raised in the past and discussions. And there's also a similar proposal in the past that was going to see in a similar direction. And yeah, this one is a compilation of all the ideas and proposals from uh, the last years into a, a new proposal. Uh, yeah, that's it from from my side. Uh, thanks, Mori. So, um, can we just keep this proposal o opening and to gather more uh, uh, comments from communities to see how many users uh lack these features? Because, uh, um, I assume that the current design, I mean, the public and private, uh, serves the ninety nine uh usage, right? So, um, so then. We could uh, gather more uh, feedback from community. Yeah, and then, so then decide whether we can introduce uh, one more kind of a uh, project beside public and private, right? If we uh, continue seeing a lot of um, comments from community that you really is liking it, so um, we could consider to to do something. Uh, yeah, it's up to the requirements, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. All right. Uh, Aman made a comment that Harbor sh should have a new web UI. Uh, not sure why. What's wrong with the current one? But <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. J just in general, okay. Uh, you can do the CLI, and then you can. You can work on that if you want. We're open for any new stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, anyone's anyone else? Any 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 more topics? Nope. All right.
ahead and um, if that's everything, thank, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's old school. It's stable, man. It's stable. Talking about the UI, I'm I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, here in, in two weeks and bring your topics and I hope I can get Engin uh, at, in two weeks time uh, to discuss the Pulumi stuff and if you have some other questions about that, drop a line to my link list mm -hmm. or directly, directly chat with Engin. Alrighty. Thank All right. you and thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah.